Welcome back to Dinar Guru. I'm Sophia, your host. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, like, and leave a comment to stay updated with all the latest news. My Iraqi contacts have reported that there was no rate in the Gazette yesterday. They expected to see a rate posted, but according to three sources on the ground, there was none. However, they still anticipate the rate will be announced before the end of June, and we have just a few days left. Stay tuned for more updates and insights. Welcome to Dinar Guru. As Iraq navigates its post-conflict and post-sanction era, the nation stands on the precipice of a significant economic transformation. My Iraqi contacts have shared that there was no exchange rate update in the Gazette yesterday, despite expectations. This lack of update has left many wondering about the timing and implications of the anticipated new rate, which is still expected to be announced by the end of June. Moreover, there is considerable debate about the rationale behind Iraq joining the World Trade Organization at its current program rate, especially when compared to the situation of Vietnam's Dong. This article explores the current economic landscape in Iraq, the anticipated exchange rate changes, and the broader implications of Iraq's potential WTO membership. The current economic landscape in Iraq. Post-conflict and post-sanction era. Iraq has been striving to rebuild its economy after decades of conflict sanctions, and political instability. The lifting of international sanctions and the payment of war reparations have paved the way for Iraq to re-enter the global economic arena. This period of recovery has been marked by efforts to attract foreign investment, improve infrastructure, and stabilize the financial system. Currency stability and economic reforms. A crucial aspect of Iraq's economic strategy has been the stabilization of its currency, the Iraqi dinar. The dinar has been operating under a program rate for several years, a mechanism designed to maintain exchange rate stability amid economic volatility. However, this rate is widely perceived as outdated and not reflective of Iraq's current economic potential. My contacts on the ground have reported that there was no update to the exchange rate in the Gazette yesterday, despite widespread anticipation. This delay has sparked discussions about the timing and necessity of an updated exchange rate. The new rate is expected to be more aligned with Iraq's improved economic conditions and its ambitions for greater global integration. The anticipation of a new exchange rate. Expectations and speculations. The anticipation surrounding the new exchange rate is palpable. Many Iraqi citizens and businesses are eagerly awaiting this change, which is expected to bring about significant economic benefits. The new rate is anticipated to enhance the purchasing power of the dinar, stimulate investment, and foster economic growth. Three reliable sources on the ground have confirmed that the expected rate update did not occur as anticipated. However, these sources remain optimistic that the new rate will be announced by the end of June. The anticipation is driven by a belief that a revaluation will better reflect Iraq's economic recovery and potential. Implications of the new rate A new exchange rate could have far-reaching implications for Iraq. Firstly, it could restore confidence in the Iraqi dinar, encouraging both domestic and foreign investors. Secondly, it could reduce inflationary pressures by making imports cheaper. Thirdly, it could enhance Iraq's competitiveness in international markets by providing a more realistic valuation of its currency. Moreover, a revaluation could help Iraq in its quest to join the WTO. An updated exchange rate would signal to the international community that Iraq is committed to economic reform and stability, essential criteria for WTO membership. Iraq and the World Trade Organization The importance of WTO membership. Joining the WTO is a strategic goal for Iraq, as it would facilitate its integration into the global economy. WTO membership would provide Iraq with access to international markets, enhance its trade opportunities, and attract foreign investment. Additionally, it would necessitate the implementation of various economic reforms, further stabilizing the Iraqi economy. However, joining the WTO at the current program rate is viewed by many as impractical. The program rate is seen as artificially low, not reflecting Iraq's true economic potential. Thus, it would be more beneficial for Iraq to revalue its currency before seeking WTO membership. Comparisons with Vietnam Comparisons are often drawn between Iraq and Vietnam, particularly regarding their respective currencies and economic strategies. The Vietnamese dong is also considered undervalued, but Vietnam's economic circumstances are different. Vietnam has a robust export-oriented economy heavily integrated with China and other global markets. Its undervalued currency supports its competitive advantage in international trade. Iraq, on the other hand, is still in the early stages of economic recovery and diversification. 
Its economy is heavily reliant on oil exports, and it lacks the same level of integration with global markets as Vietnam. Therefore, Iraq's strategy for WTO membership and currency valuation needs to be tailored to its unique economic context. The path forward, revaluation and WTO membership. Strategic considerations for revaluation. For Iraq, revaluing the dinar is a critical step towards economic stability and growth. The new rate should reflect the country's improved economic conditions and provide a foundation for future development. A realistic exchange rate would also enhance Iraq's credibility in the international community, an essential factor for successful WTO membership. Revaluation should be accompanied by broader economic reforms, including improving the business environment, strengthening financial institutions, and enhancing transparency. These reforms would further bolster investor confidence and support sustainable economic growth. Preparing for WTO membership. As Iraq prepares for WTO membership, it must focus on aligning its economic policies with international standards. This includes implementing reforms to enhance trade facilitation, protect intellectual property rights, and ensure fair competition. Additionally, Iraq must work on diversifying its economy to reduce its reliance on oil exports and develop other sectors such as agriculture, manufacturing, and services. Joining the WTO would require Iraq to undertake significant legal and regulatory changes. These changes, while challenging, would ultimately benefit the Iraqi economy by creating a more predictable and transparent business environment. Furthermore, WTO membership would provide Iraq with a platform to participate in global trade negotiations and benefit from the multilateral trading system. In the end I will request my friends who are watching me let's be positive and patient because patience is the key to success. Please subscribe my channel and support me you guys have a great day. Thank you.